Good morning, guys. Laurie Miller here with T -Mills. T infamous T Mills, my taxi driver. Watching the lips. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are heading to Hanover UPMC for an ultrasound this morning. Arrival 10:30 and biopsy ultrasound at 11 a.m. I am not excited for this. But we're trying to keep the vibes high as we always do when we journey out to the hospital and the doctor and the surgeries and all this wonderful things. Troy makes a playlist to keep me calm and we just try to like enjoy the view of the ride there and today we were thinking of names for a podcast that Jill and I are working on. Um, it's geared towards women who are I guess I would say between like the age 40 and whatever age um, you are above 40, you, you could probably relate to the things that we will be talking about. Um, Jill and I are both breast cancer survivors, so <clears throat> we're definitely going to use those things as topics, but we're also going to talk about normal things that occur when, <clears throat> excuse me, when it's morning time. <laughs> That's chemo brain. I don't know where that came from. See that? Okay. What did you just say, said in the morning? <laughs> okay, so something that you might not know is that on top of getting older and already feeling like you have Alzheimer's sometimes because you can't remember things, uh, chemo can put a fog in your brain and are we going the right way? <laughs> and it I'm just listening to this okay. lady telling me to do stuff. Okay. And so what happens is you get brain fog and you can't remember words. I'll just be like wanting to say mailbox, but I can't for the life of me think about what that thing is that they put the letters in. Or I'll just randomly say something like I was just talking and then I said in the morning, I have no idea why I said that. It's just I'm glad I realized I said it. Um, okay, so to get my mind off of where we're going and what I'm doing, we are talking about doing a podcast with my friend Jill. And the topics are gonna be things that all of us relate to who have kids or don't have kids. Um, what do you do when your mom job is done and you don't really know who you are anymore? Um, I was divorced at 40 and my daughter was 20 and my son was graduating high school. So it was really difficult because I was an empty nester and I realized I didn't really, I felt like I didn't have a purpose because my purpose was like making sure that the kids were, were good and and not only if you had kids because some of us don't have kids um, just the funny antics and the things that we as women have to uh, face like seriously I was 45 years old and when I started chemo I went straight into menopause like no more period after March 18 2020 in case he was wondering um, Hot flashes, hormonal rages, not rages, but like. <laughs> Crystal says I never raise my voice, which I told her. We put the pool cover on yesterday with just the two of us, and uh, I only cursed once out loud, real quick, and then we we're done and we got the job done, so I'm proud. But anyway, back to the podcast. Um, I had the idea of two peas and a pod, which was fantastic, but however, with social media how it is, someone was way ahead of me and took the name, so. Uh, so we're thinking of names, and I was like, Troy, I want it to be something that doesn't sound like health or stress or wellness. I want it to be like, oh, that's interesting, like, hey, Carol, have you heard the new podcast with this? Hilarious ladies called Two Peas in a Pod, and I'd be like, yeah, I want to listen to that. So Troy goes, Troy has a suggestion. You want to tell everyone your suggestion? Two peas in a pod, and then you were like... Two plums in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> How about two plums in a sack? And I said, well, that would be a good men's podcast, right? Maybe that's already taken, too. I don't know. Two plums in a pod sack. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so anyway, that's kind of what we do. We just mess around, we have fun, and we try to make light of a heavy situation and um, just take it one day at a time, one step at a time, and we always think of a plan. We're, you know, have a plan in action with each step of the way. Um, for this morning, I didn't have to prepare, I didn't have to fast, I didn't have to do anything. I just have to come with, you know, your regular uh, driver's license and insurance card, which I didn't bring. Hopefully oh, well, you don't need your insurance card. <laughs> well, I just brought it like the last time I went and they made a copy, so I'm sure they have it. Um, I don't know what else. I don't want to get into like getting really anxious, but I'm going to tell you... Um, don't drive yourself to your appointments if you can at all get someone to drive you. Let the driver know you're going to be anxious, so you're not going to want to talk about their life and you're not going to want to talk about Ukraine and the government and the war and all that because our brains can't think about those things because the whole time that I'm talking about the podcast, I'm still thinking about the ultrasound could it be cancer this this that and so it stays there so get yourself a playlist to listen to on the way um wear comfortable clothes um let's see what else do you have anything else that you could add gum bring gum we have gum driver could use some headphones probably Yeah, if I have to sit in the room for a while. Oh, yeah, okay. So, if your driver goes with you, it I could be... I forgot headphones. Mama got headphones! Oh. <laughs> and, Mom, see, this is the podcast. What's in a mom's wallet? Brought to you by Bums those. and headphones. Anything... Noise canceling headphones. <laughs> anything that you would need. Um, you say you cut your finger, you got a blister? Here's a band-aid. Every mom has a band-aid in her purse. And I don't even have kids anymore. You always gotta have your concealer in case you get a pimple. I have these in there still. But I don't really need these anymore. But in case a friend needs one, always carry a tampon. Get your tampons, ladies. Always carry your tampons. Alright, so how long till we get there? See what I mean? I'm talking funny, but I'm like, are we there? 19 minutes. 19 I mean, minutes. 19 12, minutes to go. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. I'm being as much of a badass as I can right now. Because I've done this before. And it's, you know, you got to get you gotta get it done, ladies. Because you got to know. You got to know if the bad cells are hiding in there. And if they are, it's yeah. time to take out the trash. Miller, a 